this guy ults, he's gonna get a lot of mileage out of that ability. Exactly how Karzy wants to play. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but the logic is that he can only ult usually one guy. Yeah. So the other two people should be ready to carry. Flash onto the yeah, AD yeah. carry just to get the other AD carries flash. And then they right? have no summoner for the dragon. Exactly, so it leads right? into an objective, leads into a bigger play. I think it's an important discussion because these teams already, as we start fighting on the bottom side, might be the same. Karzy in trouble. Level one, Karzy heals away the flash maps in first blood to super. MDK start us off. Dynamics. Now finally working in their favor. We look at mid, El Yoya and Alvaro hovering around. Vitio hovering on the top side, where his jungler is for safety. One out of the block, it turns into a dive onto Freskawi. The damage there, Douglas gets it, but they flash onto him. He gets out immediately. Alvaro burned you know his what? flash. We can actually kill him before he gets an opportunity to move. Uh -oh. And they make it happen. El Yoya, though, set his sights on the bot lane. No flash for Kazi. But he didn't use his flash in the mid lane. So El Yoya has everything. There's the engage once again. Level two is they might not even need the jungler. Kazi just going to die to super again. Tom Kent jumps out. Hill is saying will survive, but the set can sympathize. Video not going to be one of them. Oh, here. now they're spotted. They are indeed, but at 1400, it's getting dangerous. Oh, yeah, with the flag and dragon, but the still vitality need the burst. Shattering strike with smite is enough. Yes, it is. But the knockback is denied. Daglas can't get out. He's got his flash available now, right? But doesn't want to burn it. And he won't. Freskow, he picks up the kill in the cost of the objective. I think it's because he knew Al Yoya could still follow, and they uh, realized that he was. I swear it was reckless in the interview where he said, I think, 100 stacks at. Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on, knock up. Oh, actually, Kazi in a bit of trouble. He's got his summoners available. He gets eaten up, though, as Super still hasn't rooted back in for the time being. The spit out is there. Healy takes the damage, and Kazi survives. Talking about it, and then I don't remember what the number is. Okay, so it's shameful of me, really. No, <laughs> that's all right. Look, we just pretend on a number. That's a full in engage, though. Quickness with the root out. Kazi with the ulti back, and Healy gets the kill. Alvaro, that's the second time you've overstepped under the turret. And this time you've been punished harder. I mean, from last year was even up. last year, I mean, even though he was on a bottom team, he was sick. People had, uh, people rated him very highly. Alvaro in danger. And there's a flash with the Magnus Storm. Alvaro going to get on oh. out. And yeah, it's a whole... Uh... Okay. Well, he wanted the plate. And you know... Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's have a look. Of that one. Okay, what happened? Does For the plate, right? And it's a fast He doesn't recall. get the plate! Almost does. He does. I don't know, you know. I mean, you know, like... I mean, Hilly's the go to support. What can you say? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Let's see who's the go to the team fight, though. Oh, Yoya with the engage. Oh, the Magnet Storm! Disengages Alvaro. Now, I think Video is still dead indeed. As a quickness or the Spirit Rush rather from Mirwin brings it on an in. Douglas now the new target, but eaten up. Save the day. Hilly brings it back as Vitality. Survive under their turret, but five members are here. Five members need to make the play work. Mirwin says, okay, but I need a Spirit Rush reset. They're going to find themselves a turret, but how quickly can they take it down when Photon is doing the same thing? to defend thing. this, especially with Alvaro making his way towards the bot lane as well. Super coming mid, though, actually. Might find a pick here. Spirit Rush as well. Just runs straight on in. Super sends out the feathers. Video gets rooted up. The most aggressive AD carry play I've seen in a while from the LEC. Is Mirwin now in trouble on the backside, though. Destiny used from Photon finds the AD carry itself. And MDK forced that play, but Vitality used their global pressure again. And they fight back. I'm surprised that MDK tried to force that as hard as they did. They didn't respect the ability of Vitality to collapse, and now oh. it gives them an opportunity to siege onto this mid-tower. Good damage, won't be able to secure the objective just yet. Turn my attention to the minimap, put that into a mid-tower, and they may have just found it. They have their eyes on VTO, Daglas. Now Daglas, yeah, Flag and Drag is there. Now Daglas ain't tanky enough, he went Knight's Bow first. He re-engages, so because Kazi's nearby. Hilly as well has a knock-up. This is going to turn into an MDK overextension again, but with Destiny brought in, it depends on the convergence. Super doing his damage onto Hilly while in the choke now. El Yoya goes back on in, so does Alvaro. Fresco, he flips him back and takes down Hilly. But look at Photon, he needs to be the carry here as the charm. Connects with the shockwave, gets him off him. He's healed up by the ball, but again, Mewen is darting around the fight. Gets the shutdown, but has traded off him. We're just doing it again, aren't we? Vitality find a response. A double over to Video. Who just loves these skirmishes just because every game it seems like he just positions out for a flank. They're trying to close that gap. Good vision control from MDK, but Vitality feel confident. Their front line is very strong. The flank is being created by Alvaro. Could be a big one. He and it definitely flash. could be. Also, you see on the other side behind the dragon pit, they're just stalling for the time being. Mewen's Here comes Mewen. Mewen's just going to be a big one, though. Mewen comes in with the charm, finds himself. Kazi, there's the quickness as well, but eaten up. That was everything. Well, we get a three man crash down from Daglas and a one man ulti from Frescao. It's the re engage that hurts so much. 
Mad want to make the miracle run like Winter, but Vitality have grown. They've achieved so much, and in their face, they continue to take a clean up for Vitality. They find four kills. They've started the Baron, but El Joya is here. Now this could be risky. Hilly goes in. Yeah, he just does. He does, doesn't he? Okay, Alvaro's here for a knockup, but instead they're looking towards the Baron. Alvaro trying to get their award goes down and a 4K. Now trying to get He is creating it. space. It's a he is, that is. He is indeed. Memes aside, El Joya now. Oh my <laughs> god. At 5 HP, he could have the steal, but Vio finds it. Man, flipping up over. Did you set up a 4 1? And they're gonna start sieging onto the base. Now this Baron probably isn't enough to Ooh. break open the base. Uh, oh, you always use flag and drag. Magnus Storm gonna be used as well. The Shockwave getting geared up as the Cataclysm is in, but Kazi just knocks him down. Life. And I spoke about earlier, I didn't expect them to be able to knock down these tier 3s, but I stand corrected with the loss of Jarvan. They may even convert this into an inhibitor. Super and Alvaro need to be careful. A collapse is very real. I mean, Inhibitor's just going to drop down. I mean, as you said, Super and Alvaro, as they step out here, there's a quickness going down for the engage. Photon is just dead. No save from Daglas and no time catch nearby. A mistake from Vitality as the teleports are coming in. And now the punish could continue. Alvaro getting the eat up here from Hilly as he saves Video's life. But as he gets spat back out, Mirwin brings the Spirit Rush, gets the flash, the Shockwave, the re-engage. Still fire in the bellies of Vitality as Mad Koi aren't able to get that much more. It's but the devour uh, that he has on the Tom Kench. We get closer to the Baron beginning. BTO. BTO. That's a great pick. He's walked into his death, maybe, but as he goes golden, Magnus Storm for the re engage. Video flashes away. Now it's Shockwave, but it's a whiff. In the backside, it's a massive whiff. Shockwave down, but the plague disengaged everyone alive. But look at what was just burned as multiple angles from multiple sides tried to play out. Flash gone from Al Yoya. Oh, oh, just in. ran into melee range. Photon ran in because he knew Hill Sang was there, maybe. A beeline towards the Baron. Super has three items, so he's actually going to go down pretty quickly. And his Baron starts, I mean. Are Vitality going to be able to do the same kind of damage? Dragon gone in an instant. The stacking stop. Teleport committing as well onto the flag. Vitality though, evading them in. And Alvaro took it. Hook, line, and sinker. Now Destiny on the back end. Photon looking to end the world as well. The gold card on this side without cleansing. He flashes away. Super is one hit away from its tournament life ending. And as Kazi takes him down. Revenge in this game. Revenge for winter. I feel like it's being achieved. Vitality herd MDK like cattle as they chase them through the jungle, pick them apart one by one. And with those death timers, they may even look to end the game. It is a little risky. El Yuya and Mirwin are still alive. The wave clear on this Ari is nothing to scoff at. Teleport though. They're gonna try. At the They're very gonna least. try. They're gonna try. They want this BO5 with Fnatic. They want to make the miracle run to MSI themselves. Cataclysm in though. The setup, but it's denied. A shockwave from Video. He says, nah, you ain't getting in the way this time. And finally, that Ari shrugged to the side. Mad are gonna be eliminated. It's no MSI for them, but Vitality are gonna cut the repeat short and try and make their own story onto the big screen. Vitality, much more disciplined than what we've seen from previous weeks. This game was a lot about punishing the over-aggression from MBK, a team that was constantly trying to look for skirmishes, look for fights. Vitality was poised, they were ready. Yep. And again, we look at certain individuals. Daglas has been performing throughout playoffs. Even in their losses, I feel like he's been crucial Agreed. to the engages and the team fights when he gets his hands on the rail. But <laughs> we would be remiss. Not